the Joe Rogan experience. Before we wrap up, I got to say one more, one more thing. Okay. We got to we got to give credit to Jelly Roll. I love that I guy. I love Jelly Roll. No, we talked about him last time, and I think we even listened to his songs, but I finally saw him live. Oh, he's amazing. At the Opry. He was like, the, the fucking, I mean, I could, if I think about how nice he is, I, w- I could almost, I, I don't want to say I'm going to cry, but it's like, he is so nice, dude. Yeah, he's a it's sweetheart. It's like he, he treated me like family. Yeah. I mean, he was, we went out to dinner, and then even after the show, he's just like, he goes, what would you think of my family? I mean, he cares. Yeah. He is such a big hearted person. And I'm like, it was amazing how welcoming and kind and thoughtful and puts on an amazing show, talks to the people, like makes people cry when he's talking to them in between songs because he's so heartfelt. Yeah. He's been through so much, but he's like, I don't. It yeah. was you and him and Nelly. That's yeah. awesome. And I don't know how, you know, I don't know how he was back in the day, you know, but all I know is I know he made mistakes. I know he's been in jail. I know he's whatever. But now I don't know a, a nicer, more, I don't know a better person. Yeah. He's been through a lot. He's, he's and incredible. He came out on the other end, an amazing and he's, person. He's fucking nominated for two Grammys. I know. What crazy? a journey. What a journey. I mean, I just, I just look at him like you would never imagine. Look at that guy. When you hear no, him sing, you're like, whoa. No. And what, you know, Tanner mentioned this too. He's when people first see him, they're like, oh, this, you know, he's got tattoos on his face. Tanner says, after you get to talk, he goes, you don't even see the tattoos. Right. You right. see, you see this, this pure soul. Yeah. And it's like, tat- what tattoos? Yeah. I fucking don't see shit. So yeah. like you get distracted by that at first, but when you talk to him and realize, you know what a loving person he is. You're just like, I don't see anything. I, yeah. I see just this big-hearted man. That's the same thing with Post Malone. Yeah, yeah. You got to meet him. He's amazing. I love that dude to death. He He's said, so fucking talented too. We saw him perform in Houston. My wife and I flew to Houston to watch one of his shows. Really? Oh, it was amazing. And then we we're hanging out with him afterwards. Yeah. He's, he wants to play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know those artists. I just, I don't know. There's different people, but they're so. I don't know. It's uh, it's pretty inspiring. Yeah, he's very inspiring. Uh, it, when he gave me that platinum record and we p- posted oh, it out there, you I can't saw believe it. it. I did. It's incredible. Believe it. It was incredible. What, what incredible. A great gift. Well, here and here's another thing too. He said when he was a kid, he used to dream about having records like that. You yeah. know, like have it all. And and he goes, now he goes now, he goes what I want. So we went to the show at the Opry, but then the next day. I I had to go oh train with Rich, but then he said, you know, can you meet for lunch at Soul House or whatever? And I said, yeah. So he's like, I want you to sign my book. He's like, because or your book. He had my Endure book, and he's like, I used to think that I wanted records on the wall. He goes, but now I want a book signed by you. <laughs> that's what that's what I want. And he had like gloves from uh, I think a fight. Um, I can't remember whose gloves like UFC gloves, but it's like, it's, that's what means something to him now. Not the personal accolades, right? but I just, God, I can't, I can't talk enough positive about that guy. Such, he's such a warm soul. The first time I met him, I met him at the mothership. He came there to see uh, Ron White. And I was, uh, that was when the club had first opened and I was kind of there just hanging out, making sure everything was running right. Cause we had just gotten open. And then uh, they said, Hey, Jelly Roll's here to see Ron White. And then, uh, you know where the green room is yeah. at the club? Mm-hmm. He was coming up the stairs, and I was walking out, and I saw him, and he just goes, what's up? <laughs> just getting, just big, giant hug. I'm like, oh, my God, this guy's everything I hoped he would be. He's oh. amazing. Uh, There's beautiful people in the world, man. The, you know, you he's meet one, him. He's one of them. They change the way you feel about the way you interact with people. And oh, I, he, he makes me, I, I, that's what I said when I got home, it makes me want to be a better person. Yes. Because I saw how he treated everyone. Like, there'd be people on the sidewalk, and there'd be like, you know, these little old old women and are not old, probably my age. Fuck. What am I talking about? But like so like caught off guard, like, oh, my God, Jelly Roll's here. And he's like, what's up, mama? How you doing? How you doing tonight? Give him a big hug. Yeah. Just like looking him in the eye mm-hmm. and just the sweetest person, just some some person walking by. Yeah, because that's a guy where life gave him a fucking terrible hand and he mm-hmm. got through it and he came out on the other end. And now he's amazing. 
you know, now it's like this amazing journey that he can like really truly appreciate every aspect of it. And he's so good at expressing that. He's so good at spreading that love, spreading that positivity. And it really does make you want to be a better person. It makes me want to be a better person, oh, both man. him and post. They make me want to be nicer to everybody. I, yeah, I've never. And I try real hard to be nice to everybody. <laughs> you do a great I try job. So hard. You do. You do an amazing job. But it's like you don't do as good as him. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's a, there's levels. There's it, levels to it's, everything. It's just like yeah. he, his. I think his eyes are just so kind too. Yeah. Because it's like what I see, and we said this the last time, but like you see the pain. He's you see pain in his eyes still mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah. Or I do. Yeah. And or. I don't know. You see it in his music. You hear it. You hear it. You hear it for sure. You can't be that soulful unless you've experienced some dark, dark, dark times. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's some, you know, there's some magic to the way he sings that I just don't, you don't get that from a trust fund, baby. No. You, know, you, you get that from a hard life, man. And coming out on the other side as this like beautiful creation of love and, and creativity. And that's that dude. That's the real thing, man. You know, that's not an act. That's him 24-7, and it's no. amazing. And it's very inspirational, and it's it's very good for everybody. It's good for everybody. It's for good for everybody he encounters. He was, like, you know, he was so busy after the show, and they had to do uh, promo stuff at, at the, after the Opry. So we took off, and then he told me, he's like, he goes, oh, he goes, I didn't, you know, I didn't get to say goodbye to Tanner. I took Tanner to the show and his girlfriend. And he's like, I said, oh, I think he said goodbye. He's like, oh, I didn't give him a, like a good hug to say goodbye. <laughs> and it's like, I mean, thinking about even that. I know. Just about my son. It's just there he is. See his speech at the yeah. end. Of the- oh, did yeah. you did you Let's see? Let's play that? this. Yeah, we we could end with the yeah. speech because okay. this speech is fucking incredible. Um, I think it's queued up. You got a second, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a lot. And I'm sorry, but the quickest I can say it is thank you to the label Stony Creek Management, John Lowe, but Joe Jamie, you saved my life. Country Radio, what's up, baby? I got a thousand people to thank you, but most importantly, my Lord and my wife. I love you so much, you changed my life, baby. <laughs> Megan Parker, Haley, I love all y'all. We're friends. And Zach Brown, I think you are one of the hottest things on earth, not just country music. You deserve this as much as anybody else. I love you. I'm glad we're sitting there partying the rest of the night, baby. <laughs> but most importantly, there is something poetic about a 39-year-old man winning new artist of the year. I don't know where you're at in your life or what you're going through, but I want to tell you to keep going, baby. I want to tell you success is on the other side of it. I want to tell you it's going to be okay. I want to tell you that the windshield is bigger than the rear view mirror for a reason. Because what's in front of you is so much more important than what's behind you. Yes, 49 <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck, Gives no, me he's chills. a preacher. 